welcome back to the channel thank you guys so so much for watching today we're doing a get ready with me while i answer your guys's questions i was honestly so happy if i just got one question honestly but the fact that i got so many i'm so happy and so excited to answer all your guys's questions today i asked you guys on instagram what questions you wanted to ask me and what advice you wanted to hear and thank you thank you so so much for all of the submissions i love all the questions thank you thank you so so much i love them all and i'm so excited to answer all of them and get ready with you guys so let's get ready the first question is how are you doing i'm doing good it's just so busy honestly like i'm doing an internship and then i'm working and so post-grad life is a little bit busy and hectic but nonetheless i'm very happy i'm very content at where i'm at in my life right now so thank you for asking the second question is when are you going to visit your cousins in washington i am gonna visit you guys soon i really want to go i've never been to washington before i've always wanted to go especially since i love Grey's anatomy it's one of my favorite shows of all time so definitely you guys have to take me on a tour and we have to eat a lot and you guys have to show me all the cool places in washington because i've never been and i've always wanted to go and i miss you guys so so much it's been quite a while since we've hung out and been together so we need to go i need to book my flight what is your favorite food my favorite food is pasta i I'm just a pasta fanatic so, so much. If I had a job and it was just to go to Italy and eat pasta, I would just do that all day, honestly. I love pasta so much. It's one of my favorite foods. If we're talking sweets though, I definitely love like chocolate covered strawberries and macaroons. Those two are my favorite like sweet foods. It's definitely pasta, specifically spaghetti, but I love any type of pasta like cream sauce white sauce red sauce next question what is your go-to starbucks drink slash order okay so it's like if i'm hungry right i get a butter croissant warmed up and then i get my overall starbucks drink like no matter like what the season is or like if i'm really really craving it which is basically all the time. It's a strawberry acai lemonade with light ice and light lemonade in a venti cup. And then if I'm craving, let's say like a fall drink since it's fall right now, it's definitely the pumpkin spice latte iced with three pumps of pumpkin spice instead of six. And then to replace the six, I do three pumpkin spice pumps and then I do two white mocha pumps and then one caramel pump. For some reason, it's just the perfect combination and it just tastes like a pumpkin cheesecake. So it's like pumpkin cheesecake coffee. It's like such a good combination. That's my favorite fall drink. But overall, I think my favorite drink is the strawberry acai lemonade. And then for the holidays, I'm not too sure. I have to try the holiday drinks again because they just came out recently. So I have to try them all and then then I'll have my favorite holiday Starbucks drink, but overall it's definitely the strawberry acai lemonade with white ice and light lemonade. I just used the e.l.f. primer, the putty primer, which you guys know I love. The next thing I'm using is the House Labs foundation in the shade... I've used this so much, I like don't even know what shade this is. Wait a second. Oh, 110. 110 light neutral it took me a second to find it because i've like been using this like crazy so it's like has like just makeup all over it now let's see what is your favorite book of all time my favorite book is actually like a series i mean the first book is my favorite obviously but like i just love the whole series as a whole so it's definitely the good girl's guide to murder series specifically the first book i personally love whodunits and murder mysteries and just mysteries in general i love solving the mystery as you're reading the book or watching the television series or the movie so i personally love mysteries and murder mysteries and whodunits 
It's definitely one of my favorite genres when it comes to entertainment and media. It was honestly one of the books that I started reading when I was like in a reading mood, honestly, and I got back into reading and I loved that book so much. I wish I could go back and read it for the first time every single time because it's that good in my opinion. I definitely would recommend A Good Girl's Guide to Murder book. I love the first one. I love the series as a whole, but definitely the first one is my all-time favorite and I definitely would recommend it to anyone. I'm just letting the concealer sit for a second on my skin just so that it gets a little tacky so that it stays longer on my face. So I put some underneath my eyes and then I put some in my smile lines because they tend to crease a lot and then in my little forehead area in between my eyebrows and then on my chin. So I'm just letting that sit for a little bit. As it's sitting and like setting, I'm using the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be using the Benefits Brow Gel in 4.5 as well. And then also too, after that, I'll be using the NYX Brow Glue in clear. I love this combination for my eyebrows. I don't really fill in a lot with the pencil. I just kind of just do like light strokes since I already have thick eyebrow hairs already. And I'd rather put a little bit than put too much because uh, junior year throughout high school, I had really thick eyebrows because I would fill them in too much. So we are not trying to repeat that again. So the next question is, what is your favorite memory from last year? I think my favorite memory from last year is graduating college. I graduated in May, 2022 with my bachelor's degree. And honestly, just going from high school and then straight into community college and then straight into a four year to get the bachelor's degree, it was a lot. I even took summer classes just so that I can get ahead and not take as many classes during my junior, senior year of my four year. I definitely think I could have taken my time. I think because I had that pressure of, oh, I had to graduate at a certain age with a certain degree at a certain time in my life. I feel like I was just rushing and trying to get ahead so that I didn't have to take as much. I definitely think that I should have taken my time and breathed because that's a lot, but I'm definitely glad that I did push myself and I motivated myself to get where I'm at now because now I have a degree and I'm 23 and I could go pursue a master's degree now and like just work and like actually have that degree. I'm definitely grateful for the work ethic and the perseverance and just pushing myself in my college career. Like I'm definitely proud of myself for that, but I definitely think I could have given myself a break or two, definitely. I'm gonna blend out this concealer now because I feel like it's been sitting on my face forever. Next question, what is your favorite memory from this year? I feel like my favorite memory from this year, I have so many because this year has been such a gift to me and so, so generous in the best possible way. I feel like my favorite memory from this year is definitely the Taylor Swift concert and Halloween Horror Nights. I loved the Taylor Swift concert. I was waiting for that concert for the longest time and then when it finally was happening, I not only like was I happy as an adult, but like the little me as a Swifty was just so happy and excited to finally see her. Seeing my like favorite artist with my with my boyfriend and with my sister-in-law who's like a sister to me and my brother and my brother and my sister-in-law's friends. It's definitely one of my favorite memories of this year and like it, it just makes me really, really happy like going back and like thinking about that memory because it just meant so much to me. I cried so many happy tears that night and it was, my heart was like fully content. Halloween Horror Nights was definitely my favorite trip. I just love how like we got to do Halloween Horror Nights for the second year and it became like a tradition. My boyfriend and I, like we had such a blast during Halloween Horror Nights. It's, I'm not like into scary things, but it definitely was my favorite moment and favorite memory of this year. Halloween Horror Nights and the Taylor Swift concert, definitely those two of my favorite memories of all time. I can't pick one. I had to just stick with two because they're definitely both my favorite. So what are you looking forward to next year? Um, I definitely want to start creating music. Um, I've always been a singer. I've always loved music. 
I definitely want to dive into learning how to create music and learning like the producing side of it and just learning how to like craft the songwriting skill. I definitely feel like that's a challenge and that's a skill that I could definitely work on and look forward to for next year. I'm definitely looking forward to growing my YouTube channel and just creating more videos for you guys. I definitely think like joining YouTube and doing YouTube is just it's just been one of the happy components of my life and so I'm just really really excited to just continue creating content and hopefully start music next year and just learning more about it and learning how to create it and how to make it so it's like I'm continuing to craft that skill and continue getting better at it. I'm really really excited for next year. Oh my gosh this concealer is so Oh, it's so pretty. I'm using the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powdered Bronzer in the shade She Sculpted. What's the next question? Oh, when would we <laughs> when will we see you on YouTube? Um right now. <laughs> um so a little a little backstory. So for those of you who don't know, I was on YouTube during my high school career. I did videos starting my sophomore year and I did it for quite a while. I did it until like my senior year of high school. I kind of drifted away from it and I stopped doing videos. And then it wasn't until I was at the end of my 22nd year towards like my 23rd year where I just decided I just really wanted to do it again and i really missed it so i'm definitely happy to be back i kind of wanted to do like a rebrand especially since i was starting again as an adult i feel like i grew so much as a high schooler to now as an adult so i definitely wanted to do a rebrand i hope it worked <laughs> with the rebrand you'll see me on youtube now so <laughs> so i'm using the cream blush in the shade thirsty I'm just dipping my sponge into it. I love this duo so much, but sometimes I gotta be careful because I put too much cream and then it's like, I have so much blush on my face already. I definitely wanna try like purple blush and red blush. I'm not really like a peachy kind of blush kind of gal. I just love a lot of pinks. I definitely wanna try purple and I definitely wanna try red for sure, but Definitely pink, like the baby pink is definitely my favorite. I personally love like the sun kiss kind of blush look. I've always done it for the longest time. Same with my eyebrows. I've always done my eyebrows the same for the longest time. I like that kind of look, like where the blush is on the nose and then it's like all over the cheeks. I love it. Next question is, what are your aspirations as an artist? Oh, this is a good one. Um, I definitely think my aspirations as an artist is to create music and to be an artist and like a musical artist if that makes sense and then i definitely want to continue creating content on youtube i love musical theater i would love to be in wicked on broadway like that's literally the dream is to be alphaba i've always dreamed of that role for such a long time and especially seeing wicked on tour like it's definitely a dream and an aspiration that i have as an artist definitely becoming alphaba on a broadway show of wicked so definitely being alphaba in wicked on broadway is definitely a huge aspiration for me as an artist and creating my own music and then also to content creating here on youtube alphaba in wicked on broadway it's the dream honestly for me what artistic projects do you have lined up for the future i i honestly i have youtube i have youtube as an artistic project i love content creating i think it's so much fun especially on youtube i have a love for youtube i was always that kid that would watch youtube all the time i've always been a youtube kid at heart i've always watched a ton of youtube as a kid and even now as an adult i i love it a lot and i'm just really grateful and happy that i'm in a position in my life where i get to create content and create content for youtube and for you guys it's such a good feeling when like your favorite content creator like creates new content and then it's like you're ready to watch it like it's kind of like a new like tv show or movie that comes out for me personally i'm really really grateful that i'm in the position now to create my own content on youtube and create content for you guys 
and it just makes me really really happy. I definitely want to get into like auditioning for musical theater in the future and just creating my own music in the future. Hopefully by next year that would be so insane and so incredible. I love this setting spray a lot. I ran out of the big one that I have so I'm using my travel size right now. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna start with powders now. So I'm gonna go to the next question. What is your daily inspiration and what would you say is your motivating factor in your life? So I feel like my daily inspiration is honestly like daily affirmations, like telling myself that you are kind, you're sweet, you're beautiful. That's kind of like the daily inspiration that I give to myself. The daily inspiration that I have like surrounding me is definitely my loved ones, my family, my friends, my partner. And I feel like a motivating factor in my life, definitely the people that I love and also to, I think just surrounding yourself in things that you want to pursue in your life is definitely something that is a motivating factor for myself. So like, for example, like creating content on YouTube, for example, like definitely watching a ton of content creators that I look up to that do the same content as myself is really a motivating factor and inspiring to me because it gives me ideas, like my own ideas that I want to do. And also to, it's just very motivating to like, watch like a lifestyle vlog and I do lifestyle vlogs and like a content creator that creates the same content that I do. I hope that, I hope that made sense. Um, but definitely like my loved ones, they're so supportive and my partner and my family and my friends, they're definitely really supportive in the things that I strive to do and they just help me and inspire me to become the best version of myself that I could be. So. I, I love them all so much. You guys know my technique, um, but I'm gonna show it again because I just love this technique so much. So I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Cupcake, take my sponge, kinda like press. There's no product on the sponge. I didn't add any additional product. I'm just tapping the concealer that's already there on my skin. And then I just tap the powder and just a little bit you don't want to put too much because we're going to be layering different ways of putting the powder and different powders on top and then i'm going to do the same on my smile lines because i tend to see my smile lines crease like crazy but ever since i did this technique it's like i don't see any creasing at all which is such a lifesaver for me the powder puff and dip into the same powder and just put it in the same areas that i had the powder in right now so underneath my eyes and then i'm gonna powder the rest of my face and then come back to my eyes and my smile lines real quick with a different powder but i just want to set all of this so that it is all set but the next let me see the next question oh greatest achievement so far um definitely think it's such a hard one i feel like honestly the greatest achievement that i've had so far is definitely completing my bachelor's degree program but also to learning how to play the piano i feel like i learned the piano so late in my life i've always wanted to learn how to play for the longest time especially when i was a kid but i just never had the chance or the opportunity to learn. And I bought my own piano, which is my little piano right there. And I, I'm i so proud of myself for like taking classes and learning myself how to play. I feel like it's definitely my greatest achievement so far. It definitely reminds me that like I could learn anything at any time and still be really, really good at it if I put the time and the effort in. I feel like that's why it's my greatest achievement because it reminds me of the type of person that I am. Define what makes you happy. Definitely my partner and my family and my friends make me the happiest and then also to singing and dancing make me happy and just 
creating different outfits for myself makes me really happy. Expressing like my artistic vision through fashion is my favorite and like different outfits that I create is what makes me happy. And then also to just performing. I've always been a performing type of person in my life, whether it's singing or dancing or acting. So definitely performing makes me really happy. Also to doing my makeup is what makes me happy as well. It definitely is a form of self-care and I I love it so much. It's so much time and focus into myself when I'm doing my makeup and it definitely makes me really really happy and creating content for you guys makes me really happy and I'm just at a really good spot in my life that I have so many things that make me really happy so I'm very grateful very honored and grateful that I have all these things that make me really really happy what advice would you give your younger self oh my gosh that's such a good one um I have to think gosh that's hard I think there's so many things that I want to say to my younger self, but definitely one of them is don't be so hard on yourself. I feel like I was always so hard on myself in terms of like completing an assignment or just trying to get somebody else to like me or become friends with me. And it's like, you don't have to, don't be so hard on yourself. Like, honestly, some people are going to like you, some people aren't. And some people are going to want to be your friends and some people aren't. Don't try to like be so hard on yourself to try to impress other people or try to be so hard on yourself to achieve something at a certain point in your life, at a certain goal, because everybody else is doing it. So definitely don't be so hard on yourself is definitely something I would tell my younger self. I'm okay, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna do my lashes off camera. I'm gonna take the Merit Tubing Mascara and curl my lashes and apply this mascara on. And then I'm gonna do the Ardell Light as Air Fake Eyelashes onto my eyelashes. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. The lashes are done. So I'm gonna take the one size, turn up the base versatile foundation powder in the shade stage white i really like this underneath my eyes and also too on my smile lines just so that they don't crease i feel like it really keeps the powder and the concealer stay in place underneath the eyes it's beautiful it brightens up the skin underneath and then also too it keeps the concealer and the powder in place in the smile lines and underneath the eyes the next question is who inspires you to be the greatest version of yourself and why i have so many people in my life that inspire me to be the greatest version of myself so i can't pick one so i'm gonna just talk about them individually and say why the very first person that inspires me to be the greatest version of myself is my boyfriend my partner i feel like I feel like I could truly be myself when I'm with him. Like honestly, like just talking about it is making me emotional because I feel like I've always had to be a certain person or be more happy and more bubbly kind of version of myself when I'm in certain social settings or certain social environments. And it could be very exhausting and draining and it doesn't feel authentic to me. Even though I am a very happy, bubbly person, sometimes I don't feel that way sometimes. Or sometimes like social settings sometimes make me feel anxious. But when I'm with him, I could truly be myself and I could feel my feelings. I could be who I truly am. I don't have to hide who I am and the things that I like or dislike or the things that I'm feeling or just the type of person that I am and my personality, I feel like I don't have to hide, which is such a good feeling. Like, okay, don't wanna cry because my makeup, but he truly is such a special person in my life and he makes me so happy and like so kind, so generous and he definitely inspires me because he's such a hard worker and it inspires me to reach my goals and my aspirations because he's reaching his goals and aspirations. I'm always feeling like I'm learning a lot and that's the best feeling is just continuing to learn and grow and your partner helping you through that. Like you're learning and growing with your partner. 
and I think that's such a beautiful thing and he's truly the best I love him with all my heart the next person that inspires me to be the greatest version of myself is my cousin from Guam who actually asked this question and her name is Victoria she is one of the best cousins that I have in my life I grew up with her and we kind of separated since I started living in the States. She's just such a light in my life and she inspires me to be a light in, in other people's lives and in my own life as well. And she she is so amazing. I love her so much and I miss her so much. And I hope she comes and visits me in the States because I miss her dearly. Thank you so much for asking that question. She's one of the best cousins ever. I love her so much. The other person that inspires me to be the greatest version of myself is my sister-in-law, Tin. She is, she's literally my big sister. Literally, she is the longest relationship that I've ever had in my life. And she is such a gift. She's so patient. She's so kind. She's so giving. She was always there for me and she was always giving me advice. And I just felt so supported and so she inspires me to be a more supportive person in my life to to my partner to all my loved ones to be more of a supportive person and more of a patient person she definitely is such a special person in my life and i wouldn't be the person that i am without her honestly it's gonna make me cry i'm not gonna cry um she's so amazing I mean, it makes me smile like just thinking about her i miss her so much she's in mississippi right now with my brother and um with their beautiful children i can't wait to see her this christmas i'm so excited to see you tin you inspire me to be kinder and to be nicer and to be patient and you're incredible so emotional that question is so emotional it's such a good question and it's so emotional i got emotional hi guys editing reese here i am here because i'm missing some footage and i thought i had pressed the recording button when i was finishing up answering this question but i i can't not find it and I think it's because I did not press the recording button when I had stopped recording and I, I don't have it and I think it's because I was just talking to a camera that was just it was being a camera but it wasn't recording because I did not press the recording button so the last person who inspires me to be the greatest version of myself and why is my best friend Jose he is always listening to what I have to say he's such an active listener and he's very supportive so it very much inspires me to be an active listener to everybody around me and just be in the present moment to listen to people's thoughts and feelings and also to too. he's very supportive in everything that I do and strive to be and he's such an incredible friend I think personally for me it's always been a struggle to make friendships and especially as an adult it's so hard to create friendships because everybody's on different schedules different times but he always makes time to FaceTime. Even if we haven't FaceTime in a while because of our busy schedules, we always make time to talk to each other every now and then. And I feel like he's such a good friend to lean on and just a good friend to have in life. And it inspires me to be a good friend back to him and just be the best friend that I can be. I'm so lucky to have met him and that I get to call him my best friend. And yeah we literally are the same we literally have the same personalities and it's because we're gemini risings we literally just we literally do the same things and we say the same things and because we do that we call each other or we say like oh it's because we're gemini risings so that's our thing i love you so much bestie you are such an incredible friend and you inspire me to be the bestest friend so that's all of my answers i have so many people in my life who inspire me to be the greatest version of myself i'm so grateful and blessed to just have so many people in my life who are so loving and caring to me and who inspire me to be the greatest version of myself and definitely those four people definitely inspire me to be the best version of myself and I'm very honored and grateful that I'm in their lives and it just it just warms my heart that I'm a part of their lives so thank you thank you thank you and 
let's go back to original Reese. Okay, next question. When did you first get into Taylor Swift? Oh my gosh, I love this. Thank you so much for asking a Taylor Swift question. I love it. Um, I started getting into Taylor Swift when I was in middle school. My sister-in-law, my big sis, Tin, she got me into Taylor Swift and I just loved her ever since. I wanna say I started listening to for sure like her red album because the red album was already out so i started listening to that album and then i started going back in time started listening to speak now fearless her debut and then 1989 came out when i was in high school so definitely when i was in middle school and the red album came out that was when i first got into taylor swift and i started loving her and then i loved her even more during 1989 and then even more as the years gone by so she's incredible i love her swifty all the way until i die so that's that okay next question oh my gosh this is such a good one if you could listen to one taylor swift song for the rest of your life what would it be this is literally like such an amazing question, but it's the hardest question. Um, oh my gosh, that's so hard. Because I feel like if I pick one song, I'm I'm betraying another song for sure. So um, I'm gonna. Uh, I think it's August. I think it's August. Yeah, August just feels like a cinematic song like it could just go to any movie like especially like the strings at the end like it just feels like a cinematic moment happening like the couple getting back together or like something drastic happening in the movie i i love august so much i started loving folklore a lot more ever since i watched her live during the eras tour and i think august i think august i'm gonna go with august it's my birthday month song and it's such an incredible song <sighs> okay i can't okay i gotta just pick one august i'm gonna go with august because i was about to say betty because betty's such a good one and it's such a sweet song and it's like a story within a song and i love it it's incredible but i think august i think august is definitely the one taylor swift song i would listen to for the rest of my life i think it always interchanges, but I think August as of right now. So good question. Oh my gosh, I love that question. Thank you so much, Dylan. I love it. Oh, this is such a good one. If you had to assign just one movie to each major holiday, what movies would you pick? Okay, so, okay, let's start with New Year's. So New Year's, I think about time. That one's the one with Rachel McAdams in it. That is such an incredible movie. It definitely starts off in New Year's Eve. And I think it just, it has to do with time travel. I'm not going to spoil it if you want to watch it, but it has to do with time travel and New Year's Eve. And I just think like going back in time to get a new beginning is such like a New Year's Eve kind of thing. Not only is it based in New Year's Eve and then it goes along like throughout different events in, in life, but definitely it it's just like, it symbolizes like new beginnings and going back in time to get those new beginnings. And New Year's Eve is like, you know, the start of a new beginning. So I definitely think About Time is the New Year's Eve movie. And then Valentine's Day, I think The Notebook, which is another Rachel McAdams movie because I just think The Notebook is so romantic. I feel like just the idea of like, just seeing these two people just tied to an invisible string, they're like meant for each other is just so romantic to me. Even though they have like their ups and downs and it's crazy, but the fact that, you know, they end up together at the end and they were just always meant to be together, like no matter what, is so romantic to me. So that's why it's the Valentine's Day movie for me. And then, okay, so St. Patrick's Day um, is a really hard, like, um, like just to decide what movie that goes with. So I'm gonna associate it with spring. And since I'm associating it with spring, I'm gonna go with 13 going on 30 because it's based during the springtime. And then also too, like, it's just so bright. Like the movie is so bright and so vibrant with color. It just makes me think spring. So definitely 13 going on 30. I guess Independence Day, I'm gonna say Legally Blonde. And the reason why I say Legally Blonde is because like, you just see her like kind of just be like codependent in a relationship and just 
hyper focused on getting this guy to love her when like in the end she learns to love herself and she's in a career that she loves and she ends up being with a person that actually loves her but she finds that independence in herself so i think that's the movie that i'll go for for independence day which is has nothing to do with the independence of the united states but it definitely reminds me when i think of the word independence i definitely think of Legally Blonde, and I think of Reese Witherspoon's character because it's it's such an incredible movie. It's definitely independence all over it, I think. August, summertime. I think definitely High School Musical 2. That's such a summertime movie. Like you cannot, you cannot say otherwise. Like that's such a summertime movie. High School Musical 2 specifically, it slays. Such a summer movie. Halloween. I feel like it's kind of a cop-out if I say Halloween, like the Halloween movies, but it's definitely a tie between Halloween and Scream, like the first Scream for me. His Scream, oh my gosh, like especially like the first killing scene with Drew Barrymore, that is so gruesome. Like it's still embedded in my head when I watched it fairly recently, like I want to say like a year ago. So okay, I'm going to say the Halloween movie, like the first Halloween movie, but I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards Scream first screen. I'm gonna say the first screen just so that like I'm not like picking oh it's Halloween because it's you know it's called Halloween so it's the Halloween movie but I'm gonna say scream let's go with scream the first one I feel like I'm missing holidays um and then Thanksgiving I want to say you got mail I have started watching that I haven't finished it yet but I'm like in the halfway point and it's such a good movie it's like it's so like it gives like thanksgiving especially when they're like at dinner parties it gives like thanksgiving vibes to me and it's fall vibes definitely you got mail and then christmas i feel like christmas is elf i'm always like finding myself watching elf during christmas it's so hilarious it's so funny it's definitely one of the greatest like comedic movies especially for christmas um love actually is a really good one you know like when there's like a ton of different celebrity actors in one movie like valentine's day love actually like kind of those kind of movies like love actually is like the best out of all of them like out of those kind of movies in my opinion um so love actually is a good one but i have to say elf for christmas i think but also too if I just had to pick one movie for like the whole year. One movie that like you could watch for each holiday, I guess you could say. I want to say When Harry Met Sally. Because when you watch Harry, When Harry Met Sally, it goes through all the entire like major holidays and like it like it, there's like a New Year's Eve party at the end and then there's Christmas and then there's fall, like the fall leaves and then there's like springtime, summertime, like that movie when not only like when harry met sally is such a good rom-com it's like one of my favorites and like the fact that it goes through life and it like you see just the seasons changing the holidays changing that's definitely like if i were to assign one movie to all of the major holidays if i had to do like one movie for all of the holidays and one definitely when harry met sally such a good one that was such a good question. Thank you so much. That was, <laughs> my boyfriend asked that question. So thank you, thank you so much. I loved your question. And then the last question is, how can I slay like a queen such as yourself? And my bestie asked this question. This is so sweet. And I feel like, honestly, it's kind of hard. Cause like, I don't know. So my best friend, Bestie Jose, asked this question and it's literally the sweetest question ever. I, I love you so much, Bestie. And by the way, why do you have to ask this? Because you are literally a queen and you slay yourself. So you don't need this advice. You don't need to ask this question because you already know you are a queen and you slay. So point blank period. <laughs> Thank you. So that's so sweet. Um, I feel like just honestly, like if I'm actually answering this question, like genuinely, just to be kind and just to be caring for the people around you and for yourself be kind to yourself and be kind to the people that are surrounding you just be who you are you know what i mean that's how you could slay as a queen is just to be you you know what i mean point blank period that's like the sweetest compliment like ever so thank you so much but definitely 
like just being yourself be kind be caring that's definitely how you can slay like a queen such as myself those are all of the questions i'm gonna take the fenty beauty lip stain in the shade my type I love this color so much. It's so bright. I love lip stains so much. Ever since I got this one, I've been loving it with or without like wiping it off. It's so pretty. And also too, the Fenty Beauty ones are so moisturizing. Like my lips never crack. It's so pretty and it's just so moisturizing. I love it. I'm gonna take the Tower 28 Pistachio Lip Jelly Lip Gloss. I'm just apply it on top. This is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you, thank you so much for asking these incredible questions. I had so many questions and I'm just so happy that I even got one question, honestly. And I'm just really happy that you guys asked these questions and very grateful. So thank you, thank you so much for asking these incredible questions. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.